And who have understood her great experience? Who have understood it, man? Come on. There is one wise and greatly to be feared. There is one wise and greatly to be feared. Again, the eyes of the Most High are upon them that fear Him. Read it. There is one wise and greatly to be feared. The Lord sitting upon His throne. The Lord sitting upon His throne, man. Come on, you good. That's who need to be feared, not man, the Most High, who's sitting upon His throne. That's who needs to be feared. Come on. Ecclesiasticus 1 and 9, He created her, and saw her, and numbered her, uh -huh. and, poured her uh, and poured her out upon all His works. She is with all flesh according to His gift, uh -huh. and He hath given her to them that love Him. Given her to them that love Him. Given wisdom to them that love Him. How do you prove your love for the Most High? Just the fear. Check it out. It's going to spell it out. Come on. The fear of the Lord is honor, Woo. and glory, Come on. and gladness, Come on. and the crown of rejoicing. The fear of the Most High is honor, glory, and the crown of rejoicing. That's how you love the Most High. Come on. The fear of the Lord maketh a merry heart. The fear of the Most High maketh a merry heart, a happy heart, man. Your mind. Happy. You rejoice all the time because you know in the end of this race is salvation. To those that work for salvation in faith, fear the most high. Come on. Ecclesiasticus 1 and 12. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord maketh a merry heart, and giveth joy and gladness to long life. Whoso feareth the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last. Ah, so whoso feareth the most high today, it's going to go well with him at the last, in that great and dreadful day. In that great and dreadful day, man. It's going to go well with him. Come on. And he shall find favor in the day of his death. Whew. That's what I'm looking for. Come on. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the wisdom. And hold on, hold on. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Not theology school. Not going to seminary school. That's not the beginning of wisdom. Going to sign an application to join in, um, join in religion. That's not the beginning of fear of the Lord. Come on. Ecclesiasticus 1 and 14. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Uh -huh. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. Come on. She hath built an everlasting foundation with men. And shall continue with their seed. Praise the Lord. For those men that raise up in His word and teach their children, man. Teach their children how to properly fear the Most High. Not according to the other nations. They don't fear the Most High properly. They got a distorted view of fear. They have a distorted view of fear. It wasn't taught to them properly, therefore they cannot expound it, but therefore they can't edify it properly. They can't do it. It was given to the nation of Israel. That's why we exercise it through these scriptures, man. We put it out there for you to hear. If you want to hear, my man, you can stop and listen, my man. We don't discriminate in front of you. You can stop. Come on. Ecclesiasticus 1 and 16. To fear the Lord is fullness of wisdom. To fear the Lord is fullness of wisdom. How do we get wisdom? Through knowledge of his law, man. Through knowledge of his law. Come on. And filleth men with her fruits. Come on. She filleth all their houses with things desirable. Praise the Lord. Come on. And the garners with her increase. The fear of the Lord is the crown of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the crown of wisdom, man. The fear of the Lord is the crown of wisdom. Meaning you walking throughout the earth and you discern it between right and wrong. And the fear of the most high. Come on. The fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish. Come on. Both which are the gifts of the Most High. Praise the Lord. Both which are the gifts of the Most High. So the eyes of the Most High are upon them that fear Him. This fear brings to a kingdom, and this fear sets you up on a higher plateau. Like, this is not, I'm not, like I said, I'm not reneging and saying we're not setting ourselves up on a pedestal, but it does give us some type of leverage, man. Because I can make better conscious decisions. Better informed decisions when I'm walking through the earth making decisions. That don't mean that, oh, because I'm an Israelite, I'm better than the Gentile. It doesn't mean that because in truth, there are some Gentiles that's more sincere than Israelites. There are some Caucasians, some Chinese, some Africans that are more sincere than Israelites. So just because I acknowledge that I'm an Israelite does not make me better than anybody else. But to the fear of the Most High, and the proper choice I make in the wisdom of the Most High, that gives me a better advantage. 
What advantage? The salvation. It gets me, you know, how you go to a line, you go out and you're like, man, I hope the line isn't that long. And then you stand in line and you're looking for some type of um, pass to get closer, get further, or get get up get up closer to the building. That's how it is with, the, with, sound, with this fear of the Most High. You're looking for some type of pass. You want the Most High to look out on you and say, that's my man. That brother feared me from the womb. If not from the womb, for the time that he heard this word, he feared me. That's what I want. That's what I want, man. Come on. Ecclesiasticus 1 to 18. The fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, uh -huh. making peace and perfect health to flourish, uh -huh. both which are the gifts of the Most High. And it enlargeth their rejoicing that love Him. It enlargeth their rejoicing that love Him, man. Come on. Wisdom reigneth down skill and knowledge of understanding. Skill and knowledge of understanding. That's the problem in the earth. We don't have, a lot of, a lot of us don't have that. A lot of us don't have that skill and knowledge of understanding, man. We don't have that, man. We caught up in the earth, man. However, the earth said it goes, it goes. However, Joe Mismo said it goes, it goes. Joe the plumber. However, Joe the plumber said it goes, it goes. We get caught up in so many philosophies. It's crazy, man. I read this wedding card. It was contrary to what the scripture says. It was talking about how when a man and woman come together, they become one, but with the most high, they become three. What? Let me read this again because I'm missing something. Down, like, it was saying when the men and the women come together, they become one. When they come into the most high, they become three. That's how rage next week. Next week. The scripture tell you when the men and women join together in the most high, they become one. No. He that is joined to the most high, they no. become one spirit. We'll be right here now. They become one spirit. We don't know. Ecclesiasticus 1 and 19. Wisdom bringeth down skill and knowledge of understanding. Uh -huh. And exalted them the honor that hold her fast. And exalted them the honor that holds her fast, man. Listen, your, 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 your PhD is not going to exalt you to this honor that the Most High is talking about. Your own MDs, they ain't going to have this honor that the Most High is talking about. They're not going to get that. Read it. The honor that the Most High is talking about. Is the honor that's above all honors. Salvation. The root of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. And the branches there are, are long life. The root of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. Not man. Fear the Lord. And the branches there are long life, man. Long life. That's what we all desire. We all desire to live and never die. Don't we? Unless you're sick. Sick to death.